Hello and welcome to Daily Dose Radio, a five-minute a day podcast studying the Psalms verse by verse, recorded here in the dining room of the Bible Bistro, located in Sharonville, Ohio. Hey there, friends. Welcome back to Daily Dose Radio here in the Bible Bistro. Today, we're looking at Psalm 22, verses 17 and 18, and we're still at the foot of the cross. We've been there, well, since last week, but we really kind of intentionally ended up at the foot of the cross this week with some of the things that we've read and heard, you know, because we have sights and sounds here. The roaring of the lions that tear at the Lord Jesus while he's on the cross. The his body being poured out like water, the heart melting like wax. We hear the the spear piercing his side. We see the beautiful blood and water flow. We have the dust of death mentioned, you know, that comes over from Job chapter 19, that dust of the earth that the Redeemer is going to stand on one day. He's going to be there too. The uh, counsel of the wicked, we saw that as well. The piercing of the hands and the feet. I mean, we've, we've been living in this moment with the Lord Jesus through the prophecy of the, uh, the writer David. He's given us all of this. So today, 17 and 18, this is not going to disappoint either. Let me read for you uh, verses 17 and 18. If you have your Bible, follow along. If you don't, I'm be glad to read this for you. He says there in 17, I can count all of my bones. They look, they gawk at me. They have divided my garments among them, and upon my clothing they cast the lot. So, of course, as you read that, you immediately think of all that was said about the cross there in Matthew's Gospel. And I'm just going to turn to Matthew's Gospel, and we'll just read a couple of these verses, because we have this telling right here in Matthew's Gospel. Beginning in verse 34, they gave him vinegar to drink mingled with gall, and when he had tasted thereof, he would not drink. And they crucified him and parted his garments, casting lots, that they might be fulfilled, that it might be fulfilled, which was spoken by the prophet. They parted my garments among them, and upon my vesture did they cast lots. And sitting down, they watched him there and set up over his head this accusation written, This is Jesus, the King of the Jews. So when we read 17 and 18, we immediately come back to this portion of Scripture in Matthew's Gospel. After they had crucified him, and after they had parted his garments, David said, they look, they gawk at me. Here in Matthew, we have that one verse, 36, and David says, and sitting down, or Matthew says, and sitting down, they watched him there. So they're gawking, they're looking, they're watching the Lord Jesus. Then we have verse 18. They have divided my garments among them, and upon my clothing they cast the lot. Well, we have that in verse 35. And they crucified him and parted his garments. This is Matthew 27, 35. And they crucified him and parted his garments, casting lots, that it might be fulfilled which was spoken by the prophet. And what prophet is Matthew referring to? He's referring to the prophet David here in Psalm 22. They parted my garments among them, and upon my vesture did they cast lots. So here we have these prophecies being fulfilled here at the cross. So again, we are, I don't know, delighted, stunned, amazed at how accurate all of this is from David to Matthew. Matthew recording what happened, and he gives it to us just like David in his prophecy. And you notice that Matthew calls David, the prophet, when the prophet said, and of course he's looking into the future and he sees what happens here with the Lord Jesus. It's beautiful and it is awe-inspiring. We must remember the Word of God is active and alive and sharper than any two-edged sword. It's not a surprise to him. He knew it from the beginning and he told David about it and David recorded it for us here so that when we read Matthew 27 and the other Gospelers, we can rejoice in the fulfillment of prophecy. Friend, I hope you'll join me again tomorrow. We're going to look at verses 19 and 20 here on Daily Dose Radio. 
Thanks for listening to Daily Dose Radio. For more fresh and delicious Bible studies, podcasts, books, and more, check out the Bible Bistro online and on YouTube. Join me again next time for Daily Dose Radio.